Welcome to the Virginia Association for, Colle uh, for Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Transfer Virtual College Fair. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Uh, before we get started with our presentations, just a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, the first is that attendees are welcome and encouraged to ask questions to any of our panelists at any time utilizing the Q&A feature. Also, just a reminder that your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists will not be able to see or hear you. And about one week from today, a recording of this session will be available on the same website that you use to register for tonight's session. But without further ado, I'd like to go ahead and introduce our first presenter, which will be Troy University. Okay, hi everybody. My name is Danielle Johnson. I am a recruiter here for Troy University based out of Hampton Roads, Virginia. Um, we are a, we do have a main campus down in Alabama, but I actually work for Troy Online. I do apologize, I am attempting to move my page. There it goes. Okay, so we were established in 1887. Um, it is a public university. Like I said, we're, we're based out of Alabama. We do have four different locations down there. Anywhere outside of Alabama, we actually do everything online. So we do have a very large international online presence. Uh, we also enjoy a um, very close communication community with uh, the United States military, um, our members, their families. Um, we do have a lot of our sites are actually on bases as well to try and uh, promote that with our military. Uh, these are just our accreditations. We are regionally accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, otherwise known as SACS. And we do have specialized accreditations by the AACSB for business, the COSMA for sports management, and the ACEN for nursing. These are just some of our recognitions. Uh, these are based off of our online school, but we are proud to be recognized by Forbes, the Princeton Review, College Choice, the US News, as well as being recognized as a PNGAS friendly school. I apologize for that. Uh, this is our Hampton Roads Support Center. This is actually where I'm based out of in Hampton Roads, Virginia. We are located in Chesapeake, Virginia at the corner of Volvo and Battlefield. Um, this is the, uh, the closest to uh, New Jersey. Um, we are open to all students um, and all prospective students. We also have a testing center there and we are a fully funded club testing center if anybody's ever interested in doing CLEP testing where they can test out of classes. And we do have a um, military um, support center there as well for students and for prospective students who are active duty military that would like a place to come study or just relax. Um, we are all there, uh, me as well as I believe two of my coworkers are here with me, Michael Camden and Monique Rico Chavez. Uh, we have been online since 1997. The way that our online school works is we have five nine week long terms in a year. Um, we do try to give a very com comprehensive competitive education that you can do anytime, anywhere. So you're not stuck to a specific timeline where you have to be somewhere at a certain day and time. So we try to work within everyone's schedules. So you have the freedom to earn your degree at your own pace and we try to allow school to fit into your schedule versus trying to fit a schedule around your school. Um, we also have, uh, all, this is just a little bit of an information on our 100% programs that are offered online. We do have associate's degrees, we have bachelor degrees, 29 options for that. Um, we do have uh, an undergraduate certificate in digital forensics, as well as 58 options in our master's. And we have five doctoral options online, as well as 12 graduate certificates. 
The tuition rates that we offer right now, um, we have an undergrad uh, as $338 per credit hour. Graduate is $494 per credit hour. And we do try really hard to keep these, these prices pretty steady. They've been this way for a while and we intend to keep them that way. So as you can see, they are based on the 2020-2021 catalog pricing, but I don't intend for them to change anytime soon. Our admissions processes are pretty easy. You submit your application through troy.edu. Um, it's a pretty straightforward application. Most of the time, it only takes about 30 to 45 minutes to submit it. You will need to send in all official copies of all your college transcripts. And if you've com completed less than 12 credit hours of college coursework, you will need to submit your official high school transcripts as well. On our undergraduate side, if you're transferring in, your minimum GPA just needs to be a 2.0. And through fall 2021, Troy is offering a waiver for ACT and SAT scores. Uh, if you're coming in as a freshman, you can get unconditional admission, which will be granted to those with a high school GPA of a 3.0 or conditional admission if your GPA, high school GPA was a 2.5 to a 2.9. On the graduate level side, uh, the GPAs do change depending on the specific program, but you will still have to submit all of your um, all of your transcripts. That's something that we require across the board, no matter what program you're looking at. We are proud to offer uh, a great uh, uh, a great option for our military spouse and their dependents and active duty military, uh, which is the Troy Military and Family Scholarship. It does cap the cost of tuition at $250 per credit hour for active military, reservists, and National Guard. And I see you've popped up there, so I'm gonna skip ahead. Um, the big thing I wanna tell everybody about is our Troy Open House. We are gonna be offering this April 7th through 9th of this year. Um, it is free to register. It's, uh, you just register at troy.edu forward slash open house. Um, and you come up there anytime on the 7th through 9th of April and you watch a five to 10 minute video and you can actually get an application fee waiver if you attend the virtual open house. If you'd like to take a screen grab of this, this is my information as well as my coworkers, Michael Camden, and Monique Rico Chavez. I'll also add my information in the chat feed, um, but please feel free to let me know if there's any questions you have about any of our programs or the open house or anything. Thank you so much and I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you very much, Troy University. Uh, moving on to our next presenter, we have WVU Potomac State College. Good evening, everyone. My name is Cassie Weiss, and I'm an admissions counselor with WVU Potomac State College. I'm excited to tell you all about our campus in Kaiser. Um, so to kick us off, um, I mentioned we're in Kaiser, West Virginia. We're a small town in the eastern panhandle um, we're within about a three hour drive of Washington DC, Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Um, small town, only about 5,000 total people. Um, you can see this nice overall aerial view of our campus. Um, our campus is really easy to navigate. You can walk across the entire thing within about 10 to 15 minutes. And our students live in our residence halls right in the heart of campus. And they're surrounded by a really family-like community where they're gonna be able to build relationships with both professors and staff and other classmates. So they're gonna be able to keep and build upon all the way through their graduation, through their college journey. So just to tell you a little bit more about us, we are part of WVU. So we are one of three of West Virginia University's campuses. On our campus at Potomac State, you do get the best of both worlds. So you get a big time university curriculum, just like you would in Morgantown, but it's delivered on a much smaller college setting. Um, we do offer small but challenging classes. Our average class size is only about 22 students with a max of about 35 students. We are considered one of the most affordable institutions in the country. Um, we are the home away from home for about 1300 students and they live in one of our five residence halls we have available. We do offer championship, championship athletic teams that compete on the JUCO or junior college level. Last year, we dispersed over $600,000 in scholarships. And the best part, it's completely free to apply to our campus and we're test optional. So we do have a variety of options for you um, to choose from your major. So we have over 60 different options and a variety of degree programs. 
Um, we offer Associates of Applied Science degrees where you can graduate and go out and start your career right away after two years. We do have Associates of Arts degrees, um, which are considered our two plus two or transfer degrees. You'd complete two years with us and then be able to transfer to another university of your choosing and complete your bachelor's degree. We also have two different fully online associates programs in business administration and general studies. And then we have four uh, four year degrees. We have six different programs for bachelor's degrees, including a the WVU Bachelor's of Nursing and our Sustainable Agriculture Entrepreneurship Program and Criminal Justice Programs. We all know that college can be tough and there's a lot of times that you need some assistance and our Mary of Shipper Library is the best place to go if you need any help. In there we offer the Academic Success Center where all of our students can get tutoring completely for free. All they have to do is sign up and uh, they can get their sessions. Usually they do 30 minutes once a week and we have professional tutors available in math, science and English and then we have peer tutors available for other subjects. You also have access to all of the WVU online databases through Potomac State. So hundreds of thousands of books, journals, magazines, and more. So anything that you need for a paper or presentation, you're going to be able to find it. You also get a free download of Microsoft Office Suite for being part of the WVU system as well. Um, so now you're viewing on the screen our current fees for the 2020-2021 year. Um, so you see altogether for out-of-state students, um, it is just under $21,000 per year. So two full semesters, including your tuition, room and board. Um, so just under $21,000, so pretty affordable. But we do have a lot of options to help you uh, through that process of paying for college. Um, we have dedicated financial aid counselors that are available at that psc fin email address. Um, we do have transfer scholarships available as well with no separate scholarship application necessary. Once you're admitted, you're automatically considered for scholarships. You do have to have at least a 3.0 um, from your other college to transfer in with, um, but you can earn different scholarship amounts depending on whether you're working on your associates or your bachelor's degree. And I mentioned we do have uh, five different residence halls available on campus. We do have a variety of living options including suite style living, we have single rooms, we have traditional dorm styles like you see in the movies. Um, all of them have their own merits. Um, they all have laundry facilities and study lounges available. All of them have cable and Wi-Fi. They all have air conditioning, very important in the dormitory. So lots of great options for you to live right here on campus and get the full college experience in a smaller setting. We also know that uh, college isn't just about your academics and going to class. It's also about building your own community. There's also opportunities for you to do that here with us in Kaiser. So we have 12 different athletic teams that compete in the NJCAA in Region 20. So we mostly compete against schools from Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia. We have over 30 student-run clubs and organizations on campus. We do have a student rec center that has weights, cardio equipment. There's a basketball court and a yoga studio. And we even rent out a lot of outdoor equipment through there, including uh, kayaks, tents, and mountain bikes. We rent those out to our students for free because there are so many outdoor options around us, including the Potomac River, a couple of different state parks like uh, Blackwater Falls, Seneca Rocks is pretty close to us as well if you like hiking. Uh, we also offer intramural sports through the rec center, anything from cornhole to ultimate frisbee to flag football. So lots of ways for you to be able to get out there and connect and network on our campus. Uh, one of our most popular uh, athletic teams that we have right now is our esports team. They are currently holding, uh, we're cu currently holding the title of the Big 12 Madden League champion. We re represented WVU in that tournament. Um, so they've had a lot of success this year. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you need to get into Potomac State College? You need to complete an application, which you can find at the PSC Apply website. And then you need to send us your official college transcript. Those are the only two things we need. You must have at least a 2.0 GPA in order to get admitted. And there are a lot of options for you to connect with us. Um, you can find all of our visit options at, PSC, at the PSC Visit website. We are offering in-person tours now if you're interested. And it, I'll also slap my um, contact information into the chat in case you want to reach out with any questions. Thank you guys for joining us this evening and have a good night. Thank you very much, WVU Potomac Tech. Um, up next will be Virginia Tech. All right, everybody. Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm Jerry Delaney, uh, transfer coordinator at Virginia Tech. I'm also joined by my colleague, Xri, who is staffing the chat right now. So if you have any questions at all, 
um, send those x-rays away so he can help you and we'll be able to share any links or some of the resources to some of the stuff that you see here in the chat if you're interested in learning more. Uh, I'm going to take us through a quick walkthrough of uh, the transfer process at Virginia Tech. Um, a lot of the resources that you see are going to be right on that transfer admissions homepage. So there's one link that you want to get, uh, one place you want to visit, vt.edu slash admissions slash transfer. Let's get us started. Uh, so here's a quick overview of campus. Virginia Tech's located in Southwest Virginia. Uh, we have 30,000 total undergraduates, 37,000 total students, a large public state institution, about a four, four and a half hour drive from the Washington DC metro area. Um, open expansive campus that has all kinds of beautiful green spaces, but it's very easy to navigate and get around it in about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, as well. Over 900 clubs and student organizations. So no matter what you're interested in, what you do as a hobby, um, you can do that on Virginia Tech's campus. And academically, over 90 transfer majors. So <laughs> pretty much anything that you want to study, uh, you can do that at Virginia Tech. Continue what you're learning about at your current institution. A cool stat, around one in seven students who um, earns a Virginia Tech degree actually began their journey as a transfer student, which is pretty cool. When we're talking about academics, uh, I wanted to share just a little bit more about that. Um, really, the, the majors that we offer kind of run the full spectrum of disciplines. So whether you're interested in something like agriculture and life sciences, um, popular options within our College of Architecture and Urban Studies focused on art and design and those types of fields, um, our engineering program, our 15 different disciplines of engineering, including computer science and engineering, or maybe something in liberal arts. We have over 35 programs there in the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences, the number one college of natural resources in the whole country, very popular and top rated business school as well, if you're interested in business or those types of programs, huge college of science, if you're interested in kind of hands-on research and laboratory settings, uh, all kinds of fantastic options there. And we can even help you get to your goal if it includes work at the graduate level with master's and PhD programs, including our own medical school and the Virginia, Maryland Regional College of Veterinary Medicine located right on our campus. Now, quickly, um, in terms of thinking about what you need to know about the transfer process, Virginia Tech works a little bit different than some other schools in that we're going to be focused primarily on your college work. We admit you to one of those majors I was talking about directly, um, but we have some expectations then for you in terms of your prior preparation. So no matter how many credits you have, we're actually not looking at your high school record, SATs or anything like that. We expect that you're gonna have college work that's hopefully transferable and apply specifically to your intended major. Now, if you wanna come into history versus aerospace engineering versus um, environmental resource management, uh, they're gonna have different expectations. So we've got a resource that will help you uh, piece that all together, see what the expectations are, what required classes and prerequisites there are for transferring into your program. And those are our transfer admissions roadmaps. So check out the roadmaps resource to learn more about the major that you're interested in. Now, in terms of mapping out your credits, we got several tra uh, tra transfer credit evaluation resources where you can check out how your credits might transfer in. Um, if you're at a Virginia Community College, you got your own database. Same thing with Richard Bland College. If you're somewhere else, you got a database you can check out too for transfer credit. Look up AP, IB, CLEP, all kinds of different sources of credit and how those will transfer into Virginia Tech. Um, I mentioned that we have a vibrant and kind of active transfer community on campus. And a lot of that is because there's so much transfer specific programming that's happening. You can join a transfer student organization. You can live on campus as part of our transfer experience, a living learning community. We've got a peer mentor program, an optional class to help you optimize uh, your time at Virginia Tech and take advantage of it. Um, an honor society and, and plenty more. So there's a there's a resource there that you can go to the transfer advising website, check that out and learn a little bit more. Again, these and other resources right there on the transfer admissions homepage. This is a really important slide as well. If you want to take a screenshot of that in terms of thinking about deadlines. Um, now we're on the other side of the application deadlines and kind of update everything for you know the next year over the summer. So just keep in mind that these things can change. These processes can change from year to year. But this is how things went down this past year looking at deadlines. You can check out our available majors page to see what programs are going to be available for what entry term. Check out our transfer checklist to see how folks apply to Virginia Tech, exactly all the steps that you need. Uh, we use the common application for transfers. And this year we had students self-report their academic records rather than send transcripts. So that's very likely to be the case in the future or some form of that. So know that it can work a little bit different than the admissions process at other schools. 
Here's a look at the cost of attending Virginia Tech in terms of one academic year, in-state tuition fees, room and board, out-of-state tuition fees, room and board. Check out the financial aid website for even more uh, on costs and calculations and fees and those kind of things to help you um, see if it, uh, Virginia Tech makes sense for your, for your goals. In terms of scholarships, good news there. We got a lot of scholarships to help you pay for college. Um, just know that there are some priority deadlines that typically means applying for admission a little bit early, getting your application in. That way you can apply for scholarships separately, get your FAFSA done in time, all that kind of stuff. Again, check out the financial aid website to learn more. Now, a lot of reasons why folks choose Virginia Tech. Um, I love to share some of these statistics. Fantastic graduation rate compared to the national average. Um, wonderful employment statistics and average starting salary, the highest in Virginia, actually. All kinds of great stuff. But uh, my favorite stat is our retention rate. That's a fancy way of saying how many folks come to Virginia Tech and come back after their first year, over 90%. Not because Virginia Tech is this one size fits all uh, package, but really because you're in the driver's seat of customizing that experience for yourself. So you can customize that, um, really make the university as large or as small as you want and have exactly the type of college experience you want at Virginia Tech. Uh, here's to wrap it up. You can stay connected with us in so many different ways. Give us a call, send us an email. Again, visit the transfer admissions page or follow us on all of our different social media accounts, including our new TikTok. So there we go. Uh, thanks so much. And uh, feel free to send the, keep those questions coming in the chat. Uh, take care. Thank you very much, Virginia Tech. Um, as we move on to the second half of our presentation, just a reminder, attendees, please feel free to send any questions you may have through the Q&A feature. But up next is South University. Good evening, everyone. Linda Isaac with South University. We are a um, campus. We are campuses in Virginia Beach, down by the town center, off of um, Bendix Road um, in Virginia Beach. Um, South University is a regionally accredited institution that was established in 1899. Um, the Virginia Beach campus is um, has been established since two, um, 2009, providing students with a one-on-one -on -one support and guidance through their programs. Um, we have a, a campus there that is conveniently um, located in the Virginia Beach Town Center um, in Convergence Center Park, and it is a proud partner with many organizations that benefit from collaborating with our university students and faculty. South University is a private nonprofit institution dedicated in providing educational opportunities, social and professional development for of diverse students. We have on ground um, classes as well as online um, courses that can be taken. South University is um, has the accreditation under the Southern Association of Colleges and Commission, known as SACS, as, um, as well as the State Council of Higher Education um, for the, um, to operate in the state of Virginia, which is known as SHEV. And so with South University, we do have um, several programs um, that we offer from information technology, leadership, nursing, um, the nursing RN to BSN program, as well as the nurse, nursing specialization and family nurse practitioner, as well as the RN to MSN occupational therapy assistant, physical therapist assistant, psychology, public administration and public health. And we offer um, ongoing programs um, for certifications. Um, we are a regionally accredited institution. In order to um, apply for your, um, to come to South University, you would need to go through our admissions process, which is an application. And of course, getting all of your um, transcripts from other institutions that you have attended. We would have one of our admissions representatives who would assist you in finding out what is the right program um, your goals and understanding what um, the admissions process is all about. We also have our financial counselors who work in conjunction with, in conjunction with our admissions representatives to go over all of the options for funding your education and really finding out what is the best um, way to finance your degree, as well as um, working with 
our administration to ensure that you have the best experience at South. We believe that there is a program that for you at South University to pursue. We also believe that we are with you from start to finish. If you should have any questions about South University, our programs that we offer, please feel free to go to southuniversity.edu forward slash Virginia Beach where you will find all of the information on our programs, as well as our costs for tuition, as well as the admissions process for um, Virginia Beach, um, South University's Virginia Beach campus. My contact information is in the chat. Um, Linda Isaac, um, the Director of Community Outreach and Development with South University. Um, you can always reach me at lisaac at south.edu and I will be more than happy to um, chat with you and answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you very much, South University. Uh, moving on to our next presenter, we have St. Andrews University. Good evening. How is everyone this evening? Let me see if I can get my screen to share here and we'll jump right into St. Andrews University and some general information about us. Uh, good evening again. We are kind of a unique program as well. We do have our on-campus students located in Laurenburg, North Carolina, and we give you the opportunity to have three different other ways of gaining your education as a transfer student. We have our main campus, which I mentioned is Laurenburg, North Carolina. We have our Sand Hills campus, which is located in Pinehurst, North Carolina. This campus is set up so that everything basically is online. We, we're looking for that non-traditional student that has a non-traditional student lifestyle. Maybe you're working full time, maybe you're a parent, maybe you wanna do everything online and not come to campus. We have that opportunity for you as well. We also have our Charlotte location, it's downtown Charlotte and this location and this opportunity is really exciting. What we do at Charlotte is one class per month. Yeah, you heard me right. This is definitely for that student that is working all day, can only handle one class at a time and wants to do one class a month. Literally that class meets every day, either online or hybrid. You have a hybrid choice or in seat. And every month you're in a, a different class with a different professor. So it, it's a little bit different as we go along, you, you progress into that field, depending on what you wanna do with, with, um, with your classes from there. From there, you can go into the online program and do 100% online and progress into more classes than the one per month. So St. Andrews offers some different opportunities based on what you're looking for as a student. We do have our main campus. We do have our athletic teams. We're part of the NAIA program, which we have over 27 varsity athletic teams. We also have our uh, world-renowned equestrian program located on our main campus. That's where we uh, do host five uh, nationally, five equestrian teams, three are nationally ranked. We own over hundred horses and have about 300 acres of riding on our main campus. We also um, have about uh, 14 to one student faculty ratio. Some of our online classes may have two or three students in those classes, just depending on what you take and actually what you want. Do you want the one-on-one -on -one more? Do you want the two or three class size? Or do you want a larger class with 12 or 14 students in it? We try to make it around what you need and what you want. Our campus does house over 600 acres on our main campus. And what we do, we pull students from over 37 um, states and 26 countries. Those are those students come from all walks of life, or most of those students are, are on our main campus at St. Andrews. Again, I'm going to talk a little bit about our, our three campuses. Our residential campus, again, is made up of 600 acres. It is your traditional college experience. We have 22 majors, 22 minor options, as well as 27 varsity athletic programs, as well as our equestrian program is housed on our main campus in Laurenburg, North Carolina. Again, our St. Andrews Sand Hills campus in Pinehurst, North Carolina. 
is next start date May 10th. It's ready to get started. It is a non-traditional setup. We have very flexible schedules online as well as in seat. Our degrees that are offered there are business, education. Um, we do offer a master's in education as well. We offer an MBA through our Sand Hills campus, three different education programs, elementary, uh, middle school, high school, and special ed, if you're interested in going the education route, we do offer certification in education as well at Sand Hills. Again, our Charlotte campus, um, it is uh, the one class, one month schedule. Our, our majors offer their business health services administration and our MBA program is there. Again, Charlotte is unique and then it's one class per month and you can choose in-seat hybrid, or you can choose online. Just depends on what you as the student want to do. It's kind of fun to know that you have these kind of choices. Let's also talk about our faculty. Our faculty are teaching faculty, 90% hold PhDs in what they are teaching. We believe in the small personalized classes. There again, you have that choice at Laurenburg, our main campus, our Sand Hills campus, our Pinehurst campus, um, as well as our Charlotte campus. They're again online or 100% in-seat hybrid learning. A lot of students right now are asking us, can we come visit? Absolutely. We have the online virtual events, which you can sign up through our St. Andrews website. Just go to our www.sa.edu and click on visit. So you can visit us virtually. You can also come to campus. Yes, our students have been in seat this entire time through COVID. We are very CDC conscious and aware of what is going on with our students all times. Masks are required, but we would love to have you visit in person. And there again, if you're not ready for in person, please visit us virtually. One other thing I want to point out is we want you to apply, apply, apply. Uh, right now, we are, we are offering the free application. There is no fee whatsoever to apply. You can apply through the Common App. We are, if you have 48 or more transferable credits, we do not need a high school transcript. We just need all those official transcripts from the colleges that you have attended. We are also waiving right now that SAT or ACT. Um, test scores. There again, though, if you have 48 transferable credits, we're not going to ask for those scores anyway. We are looking for that uh, those college transcripts. So we want you to apply. We want you to visit. Don't forget us. Here's some information. Get your handy dandy camera out. Take a picture of our information. You can contact our main campus. Mr. Brian Stanley is our vice president there. Would love to see you and hear from you. Our Sand Hills campus, Bob Bell is the director. There again, here's the address. Our Charlotte campus, Ms. Sharon Clay is our president. And anytime you need any information, you can always reach out to me. Again, my name is Debbie Bell. I'm director of our regional program. Thank you all for being here. And we can't wait to see you on campus and receive those applications. Thank you very much, St. Andrews University. And our final presenter this evening will be South Dakota School of Mines. Uh, good evening. My name is Jerry Jardine. I'm alumni of South Dakota School of Mines, graduating 1974. Also joining me this evening is Cicely Strong, uh, and she will be manning the uh, chat room. Uh, South Dakota School of Mines is uh, located in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. So let's see, come on here, there we go. Uh, that's famous for the Black Hills. The, the Black Hills are, is an area of about 60 miles uh, wide by 100 miles uh, long. Uh, rugged mountains, 9,500 feet uh, in, in height, uh, home of the Black Hills. So if there are students that are interested in hiking, camping, uh, rock climbing, mountain biking, uh, skiing, it's a, it's a beautiful place for outdoor activities. We are located in Rapid City, South Dakota, which is 75,000 people. How do you get there? Well, you can drive. It's a 24 hour drive. It's 1600 miles, or uh, if you wanna take airplane, um, United, Delta, American, Frontier, all fly into it. 
We have a total enrollment of uh, 2,500 students. Each class is 500 students, uh, which means we also have then 500 graduate students. Our student faculty ratio is 15 to one. We were established in 1885. We have students from 41 different states and 28 different countries. We are a STEM college. We offer engineering and we offer sciences, 10 different majors in engineering, 10 different majors in technology or in sciences. Uh, our three top engineering degrees would be mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, and computer engineering with biomedical engineering uh, probably growing as fast as any of them. In the area of sciences, we'd have math, chemistry, and computer sciences as our three top degrees. Uh, you can get uh, graduate uh, programs in almost every one of, of these degrees as well. We have uh, one of our claims to fame is, is our cost. We've been able to maintain our our cost uh, uh, control and for non-residents, the total cost is uh, all in. Tuition, books, room and board, right at $26,000. Uh, you couple that with what your starting salary is, and I'll show that in the next slide, but if you look in the lower left-hand corner, College Factoid has ranked South Dakota School of Mines as the best return on investment because of the cost control of our uh, uh, total cost of the, of the uh, college. And then when one looks at our total starting salary of all graduates, we are at, right at 66,500. Our placement was 96%. That's even this year with COVID. I might mention that we are open, our classes are open, our students are attending college. Um, with the exception of large lecture halls, other than that, we are open and, and people are attending. Uh, we have, um, uh, graduates that work in 38 different states. They went to 220 different employers uh, the past year. We offer a lot of internships, uh, and this is coupled with college or with uh, job fairs. We have two job fairs, one in the fall, one in the spring, and each job fair has about 200 to 225 uh, multinational companies that come and visit and hire. Uh, they, uh, the major companies like NASA, Tesla, uh, Amazon, 3M, Caterpillar, John Deere, uh, General Electric, Exxon, Chevron, they're all there. Um, we had, uh, if, if, if freshmen, sophomores, and juniors want to interview for internships, which they do, uh, they will get a job and they will get an offer. They're not high paying for, for an internship at $20 an hour on average but they do uh, parlay those into permanent jobs uh, generally, if, if that's what they wanna do. But we had internships in 33 different states, 184 different employers. As freshmen and sophomores, you must live on campus. If you wanna live on campus your junior and senior year, uh, there is plenty of uh, room available. Uh, we have plenty of uh, support services uh, from a career development type standpoint. If you're not sure what you want to major in, uh, we've got a lot of people to help. Uh, we've got tutoring uh, for uh, a success center, uh, various counseling type thing, diversity, uh, a very nice networking program for women uh, that might be able to talk with graduates of South Dakota Mines in various fields that they are in uh, across the country. We are a division two in sports, uh, lots of different sports, basketball, volleyball, track, cross country, golf, uh, also uh, e-sports. Uh, we also are affiliated with the uh, Corps of Engineers for ROTC. And um, um, if one wants to study abroad, we do help uh, students do that as well. Uh, application, uh, merely one goes online. I'll show that in the next slide. But if you use my name uh, uh, here in Virginia, uh, the $20 application fee is waived. We are primarily interested in uh, one's math. You must have to have at least a 520 SAT. I think average wise, when we look at our students, the average ACT of most students is in the area of 26 to 27. In the area of SAT, we, we run in the area of about 1280. So anything above that, you're going to have a very good experience at South Dakota School of Mines. And here is the uh, website for the Office of Admissions.
And that would be it. Back to you, Chris. Hey, thank you very much, South Dakota School of Mines. And thank you to all of our presenters uh, for your great presentations this evening. We do have a few minutes remaining. So uh, attendees, if you have any additional questions, please feel free to use that Q&A button. If I could ask all of our presenters uh, to turn their videos back on, uh, we'll do just a quick round of questions here ourselves. Uh, leave the question pretty basic. Um, what's one thing that you did not have time to present on? Perhaps that's your favorite event or tradition, a fun fact about your school, or, or just something else you'd like to quickly add. We've got about time for uh, 40 seconds each or so. So we'll go around in that same order, uh, starting with Troy. Okay, so one of the things I always love to mention if I have extra time is uh, we do, we are incredibly proud of our sports teams. Um, our football team is, an, is incredibly popular and very excitable. Um, I've only had the pleasure of actually seeing our basketball team in action, um, but it, it is something that our students really love. And if we have online students, they can actually support our school no matter where they live. Okay, hey, thank you. Uh, WVU Potomac State. Well, I'll share one of my favorite traditions across the WVU system. Um, and that's at the end of a big sporting event. When we win, you get together and you sing country roads with all of your 60,000 friends, arm in arm, swaying back and forth. And uh, I, I got to support the Troy sports too, because we've got Neil Brown now at our school and we love him very much. Um, so go Mountaineers and go Catamounts for Potomac State. Great, hey, thank you. Uh, Virginia Tech? Yeah, so I, I realized I forgot to mention um, uh, one of the best parts about Virginia Tech, and that's the food. Uh, so we have top rated food uh, in the country year in and year out. Uh, and I tell folks that I'm a graduate of Virginia Tech. That was my favorite part about being a student as well is the food. So no matter what your dietary preferences, restrictions or your palate likes, um, we got plenty of it at, at Virginia Tech. You're not going to you're not going to get bored with the options on campus. Great, thank you. Uh, South University? Yes, um, with South University, one of the things that I would love to um, share with you all this evening um, is that we're well known for our nursing programs at South and our um, healthcare management program. We actually um, do a lot of community assistance or help with assistance within the community. Um, currently, right now, we are working with um, Chesapeake Regional um, Health as well as Centera to help with um, the COVID-19 vaccination. So I thought that would be an interesting um, fact to um, share with you all this evening. Great, thank you. St. Andrews? Another fun fact that St. Andrews has, not only can you come to campus and see over 100 horses at any given time, we also have a marching band and they wear kilts. With a name like St. Andrews, you gotta have those kilts on. So good night. Hey, thank you. And uh, South Dakota. Yeah, one of the uh, latest sports that we added is esports. And being a uh, engineering and science college, uh, uh, you might imagine that they do quite well in competing in esports. Thank you. Great, thank you. And again, thank you to all of our presenters uh, for your informative overviews of your schools. Uh, and definitely thank you to all of our attendees for joining us this evening. Uh, before we do close this session, just a few quick housekeeping items. Uh, when you close this window, you will receive a very quick four question survey that you ask that you take a minute and complete. And again, about one week from today, a recording of the session will be available on that same registration website. But thank you again to everybody and to all of our college, uh, College students, good luck in your search process. Have a great evening. Good night.